Hello guys, you're all welcome to another brand new tutorial. Today, I want to talk about how you could generate good AI prompts, being it on ChatGPT maybe, or using any other AI content generator that you're using as of now. So we had ChatGPT being launched last year, and obviously by now we already have two other ai technologies that have been released by both google and microsoft and i think understanding how to use this ai uh, content generators would be absolutely great so in this video series we will talk about the fascinating ways of which you can turn to generate better content for yourself or whatever thing you are doing at this moment so the top keywords for chat gpt that i would talk about in this series we have the write, the define, the code, the explain, the search, the design, the summarize, the translate, the brainstorm. We have the list, the analyze, and the create. All of these words here, they have their ways of which you can prompt the AI to give you specific content with respect to what specific niche or what specific things you're kind of researching on. So AI has been made in such a way that it kind of helps us so much more in doing our research. And then many people are actually taking this AI to be maybe something else doing kind of random stuff about it. But these are the most fascinating keywords of which you can use right now to get better experience from all these ai generating websites so let's talk about the first on the list which is right so the right keyword is just used to kind of write out something maybe if you want to post uh let me just say a blog post you can just ask the ai to write like a blog post for you that is you can use now to kind of edit and then kind of create a blog post about a specific article and I think the right keyword is so much so limited in such a way that when you use the right keyword, you're kind of limited in some things or some kind of way the AI kind of presents the content to you. Now, talking about the next AI keyword, which is define. Define as of in define is when you just want to define something, you just want to know the meaning of something. And I think using define to generate your prompts is always absolutely so great at times because we just want to have maybe a definition of a specific term you can use the keyword define now for those of you guys who are programmers maybe front end back end developers it's always good for you to understand how to use the keyword code now using the keyword code it doesn't just mean that you just come and tell the ai that code me this specific software no you have to say uh, like prompting the ai to maybe generate a specific code for a specific portion of maybe your project of which you are working on and i think that will absolutely help so much more talking over to the next which is explain you can ask the ai not just by defining but also to explain out something to you of which you just want to know or have a a clear out or proper clue about what that specific keyword is all about you can use the keyword explain while generating or writing on the ar so the next one is to search now with open ai it is very limited to search basics for instance you cannot ask maybe the ai to search out something to you but i think the search keyword kind of counts at times because the ai also can still give you best recommendations of stuff from 2020 downward and i think it is still also a good approach to use the search keyword now using design at times you can use the ai to kind of do designing in something like html and css but going further to use chat gpt for graphic design is uh let me say designing as a whole is kind of weird because it is meant specifically for text content generation and if you are someone who is into meal journey and if you want to know more about uh, ais that are out there maybe for graphic design or that will help you so much more leave a like on this video comment your expectations and also don't forget to subscribe to my channel to get most good content such as this so using the design keyword here you can only use the design keyword to design stuff like in svg format in terms of the web using sorry inside of chat gpt and i think it is also a very good approach because you can see use this chatbot to kind of create better looking designs for maybe your website or maybe your brand or anything you're working on or walking over to the next we have 
others such as summarize so summarize is just like you are looking for a summary of a specific thing maybe you want the summary for maybe a blog post a summary for maybe something and it is kind of cool also and there are some people who use maybe chat gpt you can use chat gpt to kind of translate something for you for instance you can bring something from another language to for the ai to help you to transform it to another language and that is really also great for you guys to try out if you still haven't known how to get chat gpt in your location or chat gpt is not available in your location or you haven't signed up to chat gpt yet watch the video tagged above to sign up for chat gpt absolutely for free and talking about brainstorm brainstorm here is when the ai can be able to give you maybe more and more and more features about something of which you are searching for so it goes deeper into the content i've tried using brainstorm before and i'm telling you guys that brainstorm is so much so good in such a way that when you use brainstorm to kind of generate content it's kind of cool because the content is kind of like deeper now you can use the list keyword here is when you're just kind of creating a list about something like if you're creating a to-do list you usually create a list about what you are supposed to do for that specific to do and it's kind of good because the when you use the list keyword and the outline keyword is always so great for instance i'm creating this video right now i might have gone like to the ai to kind of give me like a list of things of which i need to do and then i kind of write now my script with respect to what the ai gives me so that is one thing about this and the second to the last keyword we'll talk about is the analyze keyword now the analyze keyword here is also so good but when it comes to analysis the ai kind of gives you like detailed analysis about a specific thing or whatever thing you type into its its chat and then it kind of gives you real good analysis so for instance asking the ai the analysis about how companies growth went through within the past years maybe from 2020 downward you always see how the ai really analyzes and gives you stuff also you can ask for analysis tools such as maybe to analyze something like modeling a system to you you can ask it to the ai to kind of analyze how the system is being modeled and it is being that is what it gives you like the feedback is absolutely great so the last one here is to the create keyword the great keyword is kind of good and simplified because when you just want something you can just ask the ai to maybe create something for something so for instance working with html css javascript i can ask the ai to create maybe a, an html page and include maybe a paragraph and then i want it to go to the css to create another thing maybe styling for that specific thing and then in javascript should also create something for me so that is just kind of knowing the ways to manipulate the ai to come out with specific content so doing a recap about everything we have said so far in this video so we said we are spoke about the different top keywords for chat gpt that you can use to generate good content and we spoke about the write, define the code the explain the search the design the summarize the translate the brainstorm the list the analyzed and the create if you wish to see more of such videos that will help you so much more to improve on your daily activities being in as a web developer a web designer or you just create websites do make sure to subscribe to my channel for more of such videos we are still dropping content on our our playlist on how to become a web designer in just a few steps and if you still like it watch the video card above to watch the previous videos that we have dropped so far in this playlist and with no further ado thank you guys for being here till now and see you guys in our next tutorial